Hello, you guys. How are you? So I pray that I pray that all is well today, y'all. Um, I wanted to come on and and talk a little bit because I just felt led in my spirit when I was up getting dressed um, to encourage um, just multiple people or whoever or one maybe it might be one person which I suppose had to try to tag some people when I did this thing anyway so but I didn't you know but anyway um so that is what I wanted to do because I have not um did another toxic relationship um topic teaching you know I haven't did did another one and you know so anyway, so I'm still trying to, and I'm doing a lot, y'all. So, but anyway, I want to encourage somebody today because I have not did that. And you got to know, and so what I was, and when I was getting dressed, what the Holy Spirit pressed upon me was in, in your decision making, you know, when, when choosing a mate, you know, because we can look external, but we have to look internal and we can't see internal. God sees internal. Okay. So we want to be, make sure that we're making the right decision, not based on what we see on the outside, but what we know about a person on the inside. So, so I, I do want to talk about that. And then for, for us to stay strong, see, you got to stay strong when God has delivered you from a toxic place, you know, from, from a toxic relationship, you got to stay strong to your singleness. You really because you you gonna be in quarantine. You know you are gonna be isolated. You want you want isolation precautions. So you got to stand strong to that. So don't give up. Somebody is on the verge of giving up. I don't know who you are. I got several thousands of people on this page. So I don't know. You know. So it might be somebody that you know that's on the verge of, of cracking it and, and giving up and going back to the toxicness. Because the toxic calls us back, y'all. You know? It's the it's the normal for us. It's like a magnet. It's in us. So quite naturally, it's 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 drawn to itself. So stay strong. Okay, don't go back to don't go back to it. You got to stay clear, stay strong, stand on your decision making because, you know, think on those things that why, why God delivered you, why God brought you out, why you want to leave in the first place from the toxic, you know, why, 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 why you left in the first place. So you got to stay true to, you know, why you left, you know, and, and all, some of us leave for different reasons. You know, than than others. You know. Hello, sweetheart. I love you. Hey, sis. How are you? We we gotta we gotta stay strong to the re think about why you left. Why why God delivered in the peace that you had when you left because you was trying to get out of it so bad because you didn't know whether you was coming or going. See, in that toxic, it be calling us. You know, and sometimes they they wait a little minute because see that's how Satan is. He he trick it like that. That's how he do. He, he'll wait a little while and then he'll 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 send them because it's the spirit that's operating in them to come for you. Go go call her, you know, or go, go by there, you know, or tell him, you know, or tell her go go call him, you know, or call him up and tell him, you know, this or that, or say whatever. It don't even matter, you know. Send a message, you know, whatever. How you doing today? I was just thinking about you. You know, oh, I want to apologize or whatever. I was just thinking, I just, you know, want to apologize. What if they, Satan don't care. Anything to get you back in bondage, Satan will do it. I don't know if this thing up or not, y'all, so forgive me. Okay, let me check it. So, you, you got to stay clear of it because they'll use anything to get you back, get you back in bondage. They will, you know? But, but you, you got to stay and so, but listen, y'all, you got to stay true, true to it. You got to stay faithful to it because if you, if you go give up and go, go back now, you're going to enter back in and it's just going to, it's just going to prolong what God has for you. It's going to prolong what God has for you. The true man that God has for you. And don't think that nobody ain't 
watching you or uh, going to start watching you because generally nine times out of ten, y'all, God getting ready to do, do something. You know, when he press, press on me like that, he getting, he's saying something, you know. And, and, and so don't think that, you know, you by yourself, you know, because I'm over here single right along with you, staying away from the toxic. I don't want the toxic. You know, I'm tired of dishing it out and I'm tired of receiving it. So we got to stand strong. So don't give up, you know. And so your breakthrough might be right around the corner. Hey, sweet pea, how are you? Tell your mother I said hello. Stay true to it. Listen, what, I, God, what God has for you is for you. Satan will always come in and try to throw a boomerang in the, in the game to make you miss out what God has for you. So listen, whenever God press, press on me like that, something is around the corner. I don't know who you are. See, a few weeks ago, I, I was talking about some things and I was saying something and I remember saying somebody finna get married. I don't know who you are, but somebody is finna get married. And then I think a week a week or two later, somebody was on on Facebook show, show, telling that they was engaged and blah, blah, blah. And I just rejoiced for, with God because I didn't know who it was. You know what I mean? So stay strong. Don't give up. You know, you got, it's more of us out here. Everybody want to be loved. Everybody wants somebody to have somebody. But we just got to stay true. And as you are in your singleness. When, while you in your singleness going through your process go ahead on it and heal yourself go ahead on and build yourself you know to to a place you know be be busy don't be idle be busy you know and, and whether that's um, um establishing um everything that you need in your house for when your husband come you know um getting everything ready you know getting a better job getting yourself prepared you know physically mentally spiritually whatever financially you want to be busy be busy because that that's that's what's going to keep you you looking for the prize you waiting for it to come you know the bible says he who findeth the good wife findeth the good thing so you want to bring you want to be able to bring something to the table for your husband you know, for the true man God has for you. You want God to clean that mess out you, whatever, that poison, you want him to get it out you because you don't want to inject your 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 new companion with the toxic, you know, that attitude. And listen, y'all, we just have to face some things that we got to work on us, you know what I mean? Because we done been hurt, you know? We done been through some things, you know? Um, um, trust, you know, we, we some of us have trust issues and stuff. And so I was talking to my friend Jen yesterday, and so we touched a little little bit on that. We was talking about different stuff, and 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 so then I say I need to work on some things. She say, well, what you need to work? I say trust. I got trust issues. I do, and I'm just going to be honest on it because I want healing. I want God to heal me, you know. And I got trust issues. I really do. You know, because when a person come and tell you one thing and then do something else, they scar you with lies. Satan will scar us with lies, you know. So I, I have trust issues. I do, you know, because I, I, so I've been through a lot, you know, in that relationship and stuff. You know, if, if you, you had, was dealing with somebody that cheated on you or whatever, you know, you going to have some, you going to have some issues. I don't know who this is this up here anyway i'll take some back but anyway and or if you was dealing with somebody that um was verbally abusive or you know or physically ab abusive you're gonna have some some issues you gonna have some issues baby you're gonna have some issues with that because you already been there see you scarred you know and and you need god to to heal heal you gotta heal all the way see we get the Hello, hey cousin, how are you? See, we get the we get the bandage put on there. You know, God, you know, it's a wound there, is what I'm trying to say, y'all. And God, it's open, it's an open wound, it's got to heal. And sometimes it takes a while for it to heal. You know, and so if if you got dealing with somebody that's verbally abusive or mentally abusive, manipulating, and you know, they don't beat you physically. They don't hit you or nothing, but they mentally tear you down. They tear you down mentally and your self-esteem, you know, how you feel about yourself, you know, cause they make you feel like, 
you know, oh, you too small, you too skinny, ain't no no meat on your bone, or you don't have no butt, or, you know, you don't have no boobs, or, you know, or you just ain't pretty like the next person. They, they tear you down, but that's, see, that be Satan doing that, uh, do, working through that person to do that, or you too fat, you know, or whatever. It don't matter. They tear you down mentally. You're not smart enough, or, you know, or you can't do this, or you not. They compare you to other people. They just find a canny way of tearing you down. So if you dealt with somebody that did that mentally, you're going to have issues with the next person because it's a scar there. So every time they say something or do something in it and it might not be even to their knowledge that it offended you or it hurts you but it's like touching that wound you know if you break your leg or arm or something and, and somebody come past and say oh child what happened you're gonna say oh you know that hurt don't touch that that's a sensitive spot so it takes sometimes it takes some longer than others because every person is different so the healing process is is different you know if you were physically uh, abused or whatever you know and although you had to fight because i was a fighter i mean i ain't laying down you know it take you know time to heal from that but you gotta stay strong you gotta stay strong go through your process you know let god heal you because what God is getting ready to bring to you, I don't know who this is for. I don't. I don't know who it's for. But whoever you are, don't go back. Don't go back. And don't get into another one. Don't get into another. You're going to be. You're gonna see the signs. Don't get into another toxic relationship. You're going to see the signs there. And if you don't know or you blind i just pray that god opens your eyes and don't allow you to be blinded by satan's deception or his lies that god revealed to you and let that person or whoever it is true heart manifest to you in the name of jesus christ because satan is he is so tricky he's so cunning he's so subtle when he move in you don't even know it and then all of a sudden, now it has you by the throat. You know, it has you captive. He has caught you, you know. So don't get into another one. Keep your eyes open. Be alert and aware. You know, you want to be observant. And some people, they're going to find, see, some of them get mad because they say, you know, oh, you too uptight or whatever. But if you, if you checking things, you know, if you measuring things out, you know, and you say, God, you know, you let me know, you know, if I'm being over whatever, don't feel bad about it. Don't let them feel bad about it. Because whenever Satan come in to try to manipulate us or mislead us or be misguiding, he's going to always jump to a defense that he going to get mad. He going to beat you mad that you saying, now nah, I'm good. You know, now nah, that's okay. They going to always beat you mad. Whenever you start to call out those things, when you see that lie, Oh, you just told that line. If they start, start off line, you call that out. They're going to get mad. See, man, see how you, see, you scar. You are, you a hurt woman. You are whatever they call women, uh, men that been through a lot. You know, they try to put it on that. But no, you being observant. You know, so stay strong. Stay strong. Don't go back. And just because you don't go back to the same person, you go and get a new person, you know, you still going back. You know, you just you just got a, a different face, a different body or whatever. But it's, it's still going to be the same mess, you know. So stay strong. Stay strong. And I was talking about something else. Anyway, I don't because y'all know I be talking. Anyway, whenever you choose and thank you, Holy Spirit, whenever you you choose a person, you know, um, you just want to make sure that you choosing the right person. You want to make sure that, you know, that person, you know, you look at them internally because people put on for, on the outside, you know, like they this and that, you know, and, and, and it might be some things that you can't deal with. You know what I mean? So you want to take your time, take your time. Don't be in no rush and don't let nobody rush you. Don't let nobody tell you to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, you know, because I ain't going to wait forever, you know, because there's plenty of whatever out here searching for me. Well, go on and let them get you then, because if you that easy to, to get on the hook, honey, I don't want you. When you go fishing and you throw your rod out there with that bait on it, 
sometimes they don't take they take your bait and all and go on about their business honey so if that's what go ahead you know what i mean mm -mm. so be careful take your time it ain't it don't be rushing because listen anywhere from um three to six months to nine months to a year you're gonna really see uh, who, who this person is from the inside so I just pray that God expose, you know, if you dating or talking to somebody, I just pray that God expose them for who they really are. I just pray that God expose their heart and their true motive towards you or either I, you know, whoever coming along, I've got to include myself in that too, you know, because people have different motives for different things, you know, so be careful, make sure that, you know, that it's right, y'all. You got. I'm not saying that it's gonna be perfect, cause some people just think that. Oh, she just making it seem like it's just gonna be. I'm not saying that. It's not gonna be perfect, but you need the basics down. You need the basics down. Bottom line, it takes teamwork to make a dream work. Okay. You ain't looking for nobody to come in to be staying on you and, and you don't want nobody that's doing no drugs and drinking alcohol, all that kind of that stuff. You ain't into that. Get out of it. If that's a problem for you, don't even go there. They're going to show themselves. You know, if you're dealing with somebody that ain't working, they don't like to work, they lazy or whatever, they want to live off, off of you, get out of there. You know? Somebody that ain't strong, you know, that you get out of there. So just measure it to what you have ex god for your your personality you internally measure it with that because you got to measure this thing out now you know because don't get so in a haste i love y'all i don't know who this message is for but i come to encourage you that you're not the only one that we're waiting to you know and it's plenty of us waiting and sometimes we can get sidetracked because we're looking at what other people have you know we want they fairy tale we want because it look good on social media and camera and you know for the picture but behind clothes though you don't know the havoc that they going through you know she might look good she might have the, everything going on the body banging whatever the half just laid just right or whatever you know the glue got it held down good you know but she she got she in internally she evil she mean you know so i love y'all with the love of christ i want to see you know i want to see you know all of us in in a happy place don't settle don't settle i don't care don't settle and i just told jen yesterday so jen if you're watching this i love you uh, I told Jen yesterday, I said, well, if, if it does not happen for me, I've already accepted the fact if it don't happen, then I'm okay. I've had enough to last me a lifetime. Anyway, I'm going to just keep going on in God doing this thing. Walking it out, doing my job. Because that's, that's, that's all it's about at the end of the day for me now. Because everybody on my page ain't of God. You know what I'm saying? Everybody see some people got just a form of godliness you know they know god or whatever they ain't living this thing out is what i'm talking about so and i ain't judging nobody but measure it according to what what you have see for me i'm gonna measure it according to the my inside you know according to what god would have me t to have and to do and the holy spirit is going to lead us he, he the holy spirit is not going to guide us wrong Hey, 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 nephew, I love you. He's not going to guide us wrong, you know? So I want I want a person that is going the same way I'm going. That they're, they're chasing God. I, I need them to love God more than they love me, you know? And everything in its proper place concerning that. So that, because that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the, keep the work of the kingdom, you know? So if, if somebody approached me that I so wish somebody did, which they do, you know, but just here recently, this guy, I told him, I said, you got a form of godliness. You know, I eat, sleep, and breathe this thing. And see, some people, they say, you know, oh, I like you. You so pretty. I want you. But you're going to get tired of me praying, fasting, worshiping, listening to church music, your CDs, of gospel people you know preaching me preaching you know whatever you you just gonna get sick of hearing that because that's not who you are in the inside see what i'm saying that's not who you are in the inside so why even bother yourself with wasting 
you know, three, six months, a year, you know, knowing you're going to get sick of it eventually. You're going to get tired of me because they ain't what you about. You ain't about that life. I'm about that life. So I need somebody that's about that life anyway. So I, I'm hoping that that makes sense to y'all. So, you know, um, and then, you know, so anyway, y'all, because y'all know I'm a chatty pet. I suppose I had to came on here just really quick fast gave her encouragement and, and left off child but i i be chatting oh child anyway you know and some things take work you know some things take work you know so i love y'all with the love of christ and, and my sister you know i just you know anyway i ain't mean to say that like that but anyway my one of my sisters you know end up in a, in a bad way because she decided you know that she thought something else was better out there than what she already had you know what i mean and it ain't until you know you go across the road and find out it looked pretty over there but it ain't pretty as you thought it was you know and then you find yourself in a bad way you know so we just have a, a mixture of so much you know going on and this topic is so broad you know, because the heart is, is deceitful. Who can know it? The Bible tells us that, that the heart is very deceitful. Who can know it? And what he's saying is that we can't judge the heart. We don't know what's in the heart of man because one minute or a woman, when I say man, you know, if that's what it say in the Bible, but it's talking about all human race. So, one minute you know you can love somebody because that's what happened when my sister first got with her husband you know they was in love you know some things happened along the way in the relationship but um you know they they stayed together you know and, and they worked out the kinks or whatever and then you know she got to a place where she felt like just at the drop of a dime I don't love him no more. I, you know, I ain't in love. I ain't happy, you know. And so she started trying to search for happiness elsewhere, you know. Um, and, and was a good man. Something in my eye, y'all. I'm sorry. Something in my eye. And, and but, um, but anyway, she, she, her husband was, was a good man. My sister, she didn't have to work or nothing. I don't want my sister. I love my sister, y'all. So I ain't, I'm saying that I got six, I got 14 brothers and sisters you know and i love each and every one of them but my sister husband was he worked he worked my sister didn't have to work or nothing he paid all the bills everything my sister she was not happy until she told down her house her house with her own hand see sometimes we be thinking the enemy is without but the enemy be within you know so we just have to be careful with that and then you can't stop them you know because they gonna do what they want to do anyway you know and it hurts you know the other person in the process you know so i don't like to see that type of stuff happen you know but some people you, you just can't tell them nothing you know because satan has came in somewhere somewhere satan has came in and, and blinded that person you know so the my best advice is to tell you to pray because that's all i can tell my brother-in-law to do was pray because he was crying and hurting every day and i was ain't i was mad you know at my sister you know, I was, but I can just, all I can do is just tell him to pray because that prayer is power, more powerful than anything. That prayer is more powerful than anything. And it's going to withstand when everything else fails. that prayer is going to stand, you know? So it, this topic is really broad because, you know, this world is, um, is a, is a, a great influence you know so anyway y'all stay strong you know be encouraged you know if you you know measure look at yourself you if you take inventory you know and look at yourself and say what what am i doing wrong you know if i'm doing something wrong you know have i done this right and we know as people we know if we're doing something wrong or not you know and if your checklist tell you no 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 be at peace be at peace and move and let God be God and just pray and just pray, you know? So somebody got to be praying, y'all. Somebody got to be praying because, 
if Satan is already has gotten to that person and injected them with the poison, with the toxin, somebody got to be praying for their healing and their deliverance. You know? So anyway, that's what I that's what I got to say, y'all, because I just be talking. Anyway, I love y'all with the love of Christ. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. And if that's you that's come out of that mess, stay out of it. Satan going to always try to sneak up on you. But generally, nine times out of ten, God is getting ready to do something. So, y'all be encouraged. Don't miss, don't miss your blessing settling for or going back to that mess. Don't miss what God has for you for settling, you know? Anyway, I love y'all with the love of Christ. Be encouraged. So, um, I'm trying to figure out a way how to do all this right here, y'all. I really am. Anyway, so y'all be encouraged. Um, thank each and every one of y'all for coming on here. I don't know who. Samantha, I love you. Um, um, Kaylee. Lisa, hello. How are you? I love you. So we just we just keep keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Some people just I don't know. You can't tell them nothing. So I love y'all with the love of Christ. Y'all be encouraged. I'm gonna get off this thing, y'all. Go get me something to eat. I love y'all with the love of Christ. Hey, Lisa. Oh, child, almost. Y'all. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Stay the course. Be encouraged. Don't give up. Stay strong. Don't, don't go back. Stand on your decision, you know, that, that you made. And keep remembering why you did it. Why you made that decision. Because that's what's going to keep you free. And trust God and pray. I love y'all fast fast if you feeling up in a vulnerable place you know if you feeling weak go on your fast you know whether it's a four hour fast three hour fast you know six hours you know whether you go on a three day fast you know from from you know 6 a.m to 12 you know noon whatever go on the fast because it's going to strengthen you and it's going to bring um um knowledge you know the darkness is going to move away and god is going to bring the light so go on you a fast because God will reveal things to you. He will strengthen you in that. So turn your plate down. And Isaiah 58, as you turn your plate down, you know, go and feed somebody else. Go feed somebody else. When you turn your plate down, go find somebody else that that, that is homeless or whatever and feed that person. And allow God, you got to keep doing the work. Keep doing the work. And that's a part of, of um, the fast. Isaiah 57. Read Isaiah 57. So if you feeling weak, read Isaiah 57 and go on your fast. Don't go back. Stay out of it. Anyway, I love y'all with the love of Christ. Good, Lisa. Good, good. Anyway, the things winding up now. Things winding up. It's getting dark now. It's getting dark now. It's almost time to go home. We still, we waiting on our Savior to come. It's almost time to go home. So prepare yourself. Watch and pray. But be encouraged. Be encouraged. And know what you really want. Some people don't know what they want. One minute they want this and the next minute they want that. Confusion in the mind. So if you, you looking to know what to pray for, confusion in the mind. If you're dealing with somebody that's that way, you know, ask God to straighten their heart out. See, because God is the only one that can change the heart of man or woman. He is the only one that can do that. So this is where, this is, sometimes God, a lot of things that happen to push you into a place that he wants you to be in, to lean on him and trust on him because you can't do nothing in your own strength, in your own ability. And sometimes when we exalt humans and, and, and place persons, people, places, you know, a thing above God, we have made them a God in our life. We have made them an idol. And I and I I had to tell my brother in law that I say you made my sister idol, and God say he you ain't gonna put nobody before him. God will dethrone it, and God will dethrone it. And it was hard for him to hear that, but after I talked with him that talk, he was calling me every day. And after we had that, and the Holy Spirit kicked in and told me what to tell him, and that was getting to the root of this thing. He said, I'm going to get to the root of this thing today. And he did, and my brother-in-law ain't called me no more after that every day like that. And so we talked, but instantly, he, he 
God gave him strength supernaturally. God got to the root of that thing, cut it off, and my brother-in-law, he was, after that, that was it. You know what I mean? So God is speaking in multiple ways. I don't know what way God is speaking to you, but you you, you know you. You know what's going on. And God is the only one that have power to change the situation that we are in or facing. So I love y'all. I'm finna order this food. Y'all be good. Be blessed. I love y'all. Be strong. Okay? I love y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.